Hey, what's going on there, guys? So the kids went off to the pool and wife, oh, I'm gonna go take the bike out for a little quick ride. And uh, she's like, you're not going anywhere. You're going with us to the pool because it's family time. And uh, I started laughing. But uh, <laughs> yeah, she didn't mind. <laughs> yeah, yesterday we took a ride down a road over here which is right off here to the right I saw it on the maps you got tennis courts and basketball courts where you can play a little basketball if you want anyway it's right off the back over here and it's called uh, River Road it may be a different different uh, name for it but I do have the session here going one of my valves in the front is off so I'll be sure to check that when I get back home anyhow so I figured I would come out and take you guys for a little quick spin on it the kids and I we came here there's a bar there I don't know anybody want to get a drink anyway the kids and I we came on here and I brought them on here yesterday this road runs pretty much right along the river. It's supposed to rain at some point today. Not sure when. Probably later on. And we're actually going to go for a massage later on. It's entering Delaware Water Gap National Recreational Area. So, which is really nice. I think, you know, what did I said? I treated her to a massage for her birthday. And, you know, it kind of got me thinking. I was like, man, you know, Hidden Lake. Hmm. You know, it kind of got me thinking. I was like, man, I was like, you know, we really should treat ourselves every now and again. I mean, why not, right? Why not treat ourselves to a little massage every now and again? We work every day. We go out and shoot, man, dang near kill ourselves every day working why not treat ourselves to a little a little, a little pampering so they have a little trail here over here it's actually like a paved trail you could bring your you could bring your uh, dirt bike out over here dirt bike or mountain bike whatever the case may be not motorized but you know so that you can ride that and have a little fun it's a really nice little area you got a little trail so it runs all the way down in there as you can probably see and um, gonna go down here elevation here is 584 so it's really not as crazy as when we were in the Smoky Mountains and so that's another part of the trail but you can drive on that I don't know where it goes though I'm not sure and uh, pretty much we're gonna be rolling right along the Delaware water gap when I get a little further down I'll turn the other camera on I, I didn't bother turning it on right now because we're not I mean it's not really much you can see over there I did plan I did have a little topic today for you of what I was thinking thinking about I should say and let me close the lid because uh, I got one valve there that's like ticking away it's annoying uh, I had one topic that I was thinking about and it was a uh, you know false sense of security and I was wondering how many of you guys feel that people can become victim of this uh, false sense of security I mean and it, there's a little reason why I came up with this one day I was at work and a, and a neighbor of mine which is my co-worker he's actually a neighbor doesn't live too far he comes to me and he goes hey Bruce uh you know, I came out to my car the other day, out in the driveway, and really odd thing. He says, I noticed that, uh, I noticed that, is that a screwdriver? Oh, shoot.
he says, I noticed that someone was, uh, he says, I noticed that someone, or it seemed like someone, I, yeah, perfectly good screwdriver. Uh, the back's not so great, but yeah, that'll come home with me. So he says, I noticed that uh, it looked like someone went through, went through the car. And as you can see, V-Star 1300 comes with really nice bags. You can fit a V-Star uh, Striker in there. Yamaha Striker. Right, uh, JT Southern Fried. Fit really nice. Anyhow. So, uh, oh my God, this, this vlog is starting off horrible. So anyhow, <laughs> so anyway, he, he comes to me and says, hey, you know, I came out to my car and it seemed like, it seemed like somebody rummaged through the car. He says, you know, everything in, everything in the car seemed ransacked, the, the glove box was opened. It just, it just kind of looked like somebody went through the car. There's papers everywhere. And he's like, man, I don't remember leaving, you know, my car like this. And then he says to me, he says, hey, you know, do you, he says, do you lock your, your car doors? And me, I'm like, yeah, I lock my car doors. So then he calls up another one of our neighbors and he asks him, he says, hey, you know, um, he says, look at this guy's flying. He says, hey, did you notice by chance that, uh, you know, anyone messing with your car? He goes out, he looks at his car. And he says, he goes, he calls him back. He says, yeah, man, somebody done went through my car, man. He's like, damn, only thing he noticed missing was uh, some gift cards. So I kind of said to him, I said, you know, I kind of figured in the back of my head that there had to be someone that would be walking around and checking door handles. I kind of figured that because I mean, you know, we live in a we live in a pretty nice area, although not too far away is the ghetto, which by looking at where I live, you, you kind of wouldn't think that would be the case. But oh, best believe there is a ghetto nearby. And I mean, that's kind of the, the case with anywhere. You know, I, I grew up in the ghetto. I, well, it wasn't really the ghetto, but it was very close to a ghetto and it wasn't exactly the best of an area or the best place or the best area, I would say. But it wasn't like full-fledged ghetto, like you're in a project's ghetto or anything of the sort. Um, let this guy go by if he wants to go. Yeah, so I was a park ranger. Yeah, so it wasn't, you know, I mean, we grew up in a house, you know, we, we never grew up in the projects and not to say that that's a bad thing and not to take anything away from growing up in that setting. We were running right along the river over here and I could turn on this camera and let it record a bit. You know, not to take anything away from that and not to say that that's a bad thing because, you know, you, you have to do the best at what you, what you have. And if growing up in a housing development is all you have, you need to take the best of that, make the most of it and work your ass off and get out of there. Or if you want to stay there, that's fine too. But work your ass off either way. You know, you get out there, you do something for yourself and you make something of yourself. You make something of yourself in your life, with your life. But anyway, I'm getting off a topic. So anyhow, um, you know, I kind of figured that, that there had to be somebody that would be walking around and, and checking door handles. I just, I just kind of figured, it's like something was telling me. You know, I always lock my doors. I got, I have, uh, we have three vehicles, not including the bikes. Well, now we do, before we had two. And I always kept my doors locked. Always, like if I, especially overnight, I lock my doors. You know, my doors stay locked. And maybe that's a thing comes from 
you know, living in the Bronx where you just don't leave your doors open. You don't. You don't leave your doors open. You don't leave your windows open. You know, it's just, those are just things that you just don't do. Because you're kind of just setting yourself up for having an issue. And, uh, you know, I just wondered, like, how, how many of you, maybe that may live in a better neighborhood. Maybe you live in a neighborhood that isn't so great. And that car is still parked there. Wow, I saw that car parked there yesterday. Or maybe you live in a neighborhood that isn't so great. You know, how, 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 how much do you think of security? Uh, home security, vehicle security, uh, security in general, you know? Zion Church Road, next right. It's weird, car's been there since yesterday. And, uh, I don't know, it just made me think, like, how many of you actually lock your doors when you're going in your house? Do you leave the car doors open? Not really thinking about it, not really thinking much of it, thinking that maybe it's not that big of a deal. You know, no one's not gonna, no one's gonna mess with my car, no one's gonna mess with my vehicle, you know. Um, I don't know. You know, I just figured I would, uh, shoot a little vlog about that and see what you guys thought anyhow I hope I got my point across there pretty good but uh yeah so this is a beautiful area man I brought the kids through here you got the trees there you know I kind of changed the angle a little bit so that you'd be seeing a little further up but you got the cheese trees not the cheese oh my god I'm thinking of cheese you got the trees there man they just look really beautiful yeah, you gotta love that. Anyhow, we only have about two more days of our vacation. I'm trying to get tomorrow off and Saturday off, working on it, you know, but it's looking a little tight. I've been calling into the job and talking to them, hoping that, you know, I can, I can get tomorrow off, which would be nice. A little more time with the family. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I would kind of hate to have to commute in tomorrow. I really don't want to do that. Much less the uh, Saturday's not so. Well, it's supposed to rain Saturday. I mean, I, I got my overpants with me, so if anything, and I do have to commute, you know, uh, no big deal. I can, you know, I can, I can commute. I mean, it's a motorcycle, and. If you're riding a motorcycle, you need to be ready for all of the weathers that may hit you. This jacket's waterproof, so at the most, maybe I might get a little bit wet. I do have the new boots on, as you can see there. I do have them on, which uh, they, they've been pretty nice. Uh, I do need to treat them as my good buddy Anthony West Coast Texas Rides was telling me. You can buy some treatment and put on them. It's like a little coat. And... Uh, yeah, so I just wanted to kind of share this area with you. We're riding along the Delaware Water Gap. And I don't know if maybe I, maybe I will get to this little park area they had over here. Is this it? What is this? Smithfield Beach. I think this was it where we came in earlier. Yeah, I think so. I don't know if it's open or if they'll even let me... Let me, uh wander in it might not be open but anyway they have like some docks and stuff here and whatnot I don't think there's anyone that's working so maybe it might not be a big deal Ooh. yeah but it's a it's a nice little area here two fees in effect it's a nice little area here, um, which is kind of cool. And you got the Delaware Water Gap there, running along. I don't think you're going to really be able to see much on this side. But um, over here, it's like a dock. You got to go over here to the dock area. Supposedly there's a beach here. I'm not sure where. I'm not sure if it's back that way. I don't. I didn't put the top box on today. I'm just. I just took a little ride but I'll show you the little dock over here but you would come if you wanted to dock your your 
picnic table. Not your picnic table. Oh, God, your canoe. If you had a canoe and you wanted to dock it, you'd come over here. A little further down is like some some rivers and things like that, which is nice. And actually, I'll show you the little trail over here. This is where the other end of the trail is. As you can see. And that there, and that's Delaware Water Gap right there. Man, she's flowing. Pretty beautiful area. Yeah, we love, we love coming out around this way. Put it in gear. Any chance that we get. Oh, let me see if I have any messages. I don't think I do. Mm. No. Bronco ride, like the, like the Instagram picture. Yeah, so it's a beautiful area. We've got a trail over there, which is nice. And, uh, yeah, man, this is the Delaware Water Gap. I mean, you guys have seen me. We've seen this river where we run the, uh, the uh, Hawk's Nest. So, man, this runs all the way down here. Runs pretty far down, too. Yeah. If you got a canoe, man, yeah, you can, uh, you can pay a little fee and then you you dock and you come out here and you can canoe this on down i'm not sure if people canoe up because you can see it's it's the stream is moving pretty far down pretty fast too so more than likely what you would do is you probably canoe down i would think and then and then uh i guess who the heck's gonna walk a canoe back up? Um, you got a canoe back up, I guess, right? I don't know. Hmm. That's a good question. I don't think it'd be that bad that you. Well, you never know. I guarantee you, that's probably some work. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. But that's where I wanted to bring you guys. It's a little short ride. I figured you probably enjoy this. It's really nice out here. Actually, it's a little. It's warmer than what I thought it was. I thought it was going to be colder, but it's about like 50 degrees right now, 55 maybe, somewhere around there. And uh, so yeah, it's a beautiful area, man. It's a great area, great place to take a little short ride to. Even from my house, from my house is about an hour and a half, two hours. I actually rode past here, but on 209 when I was gonna go meet up with uh, with Philip, who has a gold wing. He actually got a new gold wing, but I haven't met up with him, so I get a chance we'll meet up with him and we'll talk about that on the channel. And kinda go from there. So, anyway, I thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go off camera here and take me a little slow jaunt back home. Maybe I'll go down a little bit more. I still got like another hour before you have to leave for the massage. So maybe I'll probably go down a little more and kind of just, I don't know, turn around and come back up, I guess. And slow cruise on a nice back road. It's quiet. <laughs> you can see I'm like by myself. And uh, yeah, man, it's pretty cool. It's nice. Uh, you can see, look at this. They say it's safe. A safe river trip. That was my phone. A safe river trip where they go over. Huh? They tell you to carry a horn. Fire extinguisher, huh? Warning. Drivers of motor propelled vessels be aware tubing is permitted on the river. Maintain safe operating speed. Yeah. A lot of stuff, guys. Really nice. Milford Beach Access. Abak Beach Ashka, Access, Bushkill, Smithfield, that's where we are, Smithfield Beach Access, and 209 runs right on down that way, and this is just a little road, a river road, running on down the side here, so, uh, yeah, guys, I thank you for watching, and just gonna enjoy the rest of this, uh, rest of this vacation, you guys take it easy.